For a moment, everything is intense. Pressure rises, muscles contract, nerves fire in rapid pulses. The body releases a force that has been building quietly for hours, days or even weeks. And then, almost instantly, the storm collapses into silence. This silence is not empty, it is transformation. Inside the male body, the seconds immediately after ejaculation are some of the most dramatic in human physiology. Hormones plunge and spike, nerves switch channels. The pelvic floor relaxes after a symphony of contractions. The brain floods with chemicals that alter emotion, energy and even behaviour. Some systems shut down, others turn back on. And a few, like the reproductive ducts, begin resetting quietly, almost invisibly. Ejaculation looks like an ending, but biologically it is a beginning. A point where the body transitions from high stimulation to deep recovery. For centuries, this moment has been surrounded by myth, misunderstanding and speculation. But the true story, the microscopic, beautifully coordinated sequence of what happens right after release, is far more profound than any myth. What happens when pleasure collapses into calm? Why does the body suddenly feel heavy? Why does the mind shift so sharply? What is the secret behind the afterglow and why does it make some people feel connected while others feel distant? This is the hidden world behind the final moment, the part of the story no one sees, the biology of what comes next. Let's go inside. To understand the aftermath, we must return to the systems involved. During ejaculation, three major networks work at maximum capacity. One, the nervous system. During climax, the sympathetic nervous system, the one responsible for fight or flight, takes full control. It drives the contractions, the pressure, the timing and the reflexes. Two, the pelvic floor and reproductive muscles. Muscles like the bulbospongiosus contract rhythmically. The vas deferens squeezes. The seminal vesicles and prostate pulse in perfect coordination. 3. The brain. Moments before ejaculation, the prefrontal cortex, the part responsible for focus, logic and conscious decision-making, begins to deactivate. Primitive brain circuits take over. But as soon as ejaculation ends, this entire network undergoes a rapid shift. A switch from sympathetic to parasympathetic dominance. This transition is what creates the afterglow, the feeling of release, calm and satisfaction. But it's not just the nervous system. The endocrine system, the body's chemical signalling network, also surges and collapses within seconds. Right after ejaculation, dopamine drops sharply. Prolactin rises. Oxytocin spreads through the bloodstream. Serotonin stabilises mood. Endorphins soothe the body. Adrenaline declines rapidly. These chemicals create the emotional landscape of the aftermath. A mixture of calm, closeness, fatigue and clarity. The reproductive system also resets. The bladder neck reopens, the prostate relaxes, and the urethra switches back to its everyday role. All of this happens quietly, beneath the surface, in the seconds after one of the most intense events a human body can experience. But this is only the beginning of the story. Now let's break down what happens inside the body second by second. Second, zero to one. The reflex ends. As soon as the final contraction finishes, the spinal ejaculation generator shuts down. The pelvic floor relaxes. The bladder sphincter opens again. Pressure drops. The whole reproductive tract relaxes like a wave collapsing into still water. Second one to five, 
the hormonal switch, dopamine crash. The brain's reward chemical drops sharply, a natural response after intense stimulation. This is what creates the feeling of completion and the sudden shift in mental clarity. Prolactin surge. Prolactin spikes immediately after ejaculation. It is the hormone responsible for temporary sexual satiety, lowering arousal, initiating the refractory period. Oxytocin release. Oxytocin, the bonding hormone, rises, promoting closeness, calmness and emotional softness. Endorphin stabilisation. The body releases endorphins, reducing pain and inducing relaxation. Second, 5 to 30. The nervous system resets. The sympathetic system turns off and the parasympathetic or rest and digest system takes over. This shift lowers heart rate, reduces muscle tension, calms breathing restores mental quietness. It is this transition that creates the sensation of afterglow. Second 30 to 120, the reproductive reset. The prostate relaxes, returning to its resting size and pressure. The seminal vesicles deflate, their fluid reservoirs empty. The vas deferens becomes quiet, no more muscular contractions. The urethra reverts, switching from a reproductive tube back to a urinary one. Minute 2 to 10, the refractory period begins. The brain becomes temporarily unresponsive to further sexual signals. This period varies, seconds for some, minutes for many, hours for others, and increases with age. Prolactin is the primary driver of this phenomenon. During this period, the body enters a unique biological state, one of recovery, integration and return to baseline. But here, the story takes a turn. The climax of the aftermath isn't a spike, it's a drop. A deep, peaceful, necessary fall into restoration. This descent is just as important, just as beautifully designed as the rise toward climax moments earlier. In the minutes after ejaculation, the body undergoes one of its most profound transitions. One, the brain reboots. The logical prefrontal cortex comes back online. Thought becomes clearer, awareness increases. It's as if the brain emerges from a tunnel and steps back into the light. 2. Emotional circuits amplify. Oxytocin binds the moment to memory. Connection feels deeper. Touch feels warmer. Breathing synchronises naturally. This is why many describe emotional closeness after climax. The biology is real. 3. The pelvic floor releases. The muscles that worked with machine-like power now melt into softness. Tension dissolves, warmth spreads. 4. The heart rate drops. The pounding slows, the chest opens, blood pressure stabilises. 5. A wave of fatigue appears. This is not weakness, it is the body entering parasympathetic dominance, the same state accessed during deep meditation or sleep. 6. The refractory shield strengthens. The brain's receptors temporarily shut down sexual stimuli as prolactin dampens arousal circuits. This is the aftermath at its peak a plunge from intensity into an enveloping calm, a biological embrace, a full system exhale. It is the body's way of saying, rest, recharge, reset. The aftermath of ejaculation is often invisible, rarely discussed and almost never understood. But inside those minutes of stillness is a carefully orchestrated recovery ritual one refined by millions of years of evolution.
the body moves from tension to release, from high alert to deep calm, from propulsion to restoration. This shift shapes emotion, energy, motivation, connection, and even behavior. The hormones that rise, oxytocin, serotonin, endorphins, bring closeness. The hormones that fall, dopamine, adrenaline, bring clarity and quiet. The refractory period is not a limitation, it is protection, a reset button, a period of integration where the body regains control and begins preparing for the next cycle of arousal and release. And beneath every sigh, every moment of stillness, every soft breath, there is a story of balance. The story of how the body rises and how it falls, of how it charges and how it restores. A reminder that intensity and calm are two sides of the same biological coin. The aftermath of ejaculation is not an ending, it is a transition a bridge between sensation and serenity, a pause written into the architecture of life. And as the body settles back into its natural rhythm, it carries with it the quiet wisdom of this cycle, that release is followed by rest, that intensity leads to peace, and that every peak is balanced by its return to stillness.